Hi, Inish team. I want to congratulate you with the reviews that you have on this listing. I know how competitive the category can be. So to see the ratings you have and the star rating you have is really a job well done. Now, my job, even though I am one of your biggest fans, I never knew you were on Amazon, but my job is to help sellers who prioritize themselves on Amazon. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to point out a large module which you have for this listing. You're not using it and it takes a valuable real estate in addition to some competitor things that I noticed and a few other things. My name is Sean and I'm an account executive with my Amazon guy. I have to tell you, I've been using Inish products for years. I found them in a salon and that is the only place I've ever bought your products. I didn't know you had them on Amazon, um, even though I work on Amazon every single day. So listen, let's dive right into it. I'll get to the module, but the first thing I want to talk about is traffic. Traffic. What sends traffic to your listing are keywords, advertising and keywords. So looking here, we use this tool to look at your sponsored organic keywords. We do a ton of competitive research and other things. So I'm noticing you're not doing any PPC advertising. That's interesting, but you do have um, almost 1800 organic keywords. Now I've looked at competition. We do a ton in this category and I will tell you that your organics are very low. We recommend that they're anywhere between three to six thousand. In addition to that, we do recommend a one to two ratio. So for every one sponsored, you have two organic keywords. But of the keywords that you have, I want to show you a couple of things. So scrolling down, notice that I sorted the keywords that you're indexing for by the most search. So you'll see perfumes for women, perfume, men's cologne, cologne, women's perfume. And over here on the far right is your organic rank. Now, as I scroll down, look at this number. Do you see how you're in the triple digits for most of these? So think of how many pages people have to go through to find you. You and I both know most conversion happens on page one of Amazon. So to be on page one on Amazon, you've got to be ranked in spots zero, one through 50. And look, you've only got one, two, three, wow, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. So you've maybe got about 10 or 15 of the top 100 most searched organic keywords where you're on page one. Other than that, you're very deep in the search results. So I want to put this into context for, for you for a little bit. Look at this one, even though you're on page one. So this is alt fragrances for women. The search volume on this has dramatically increased month over month. You're not competing with many products and there's over 3,700 people looking for this on the US marketplace this month alone. So let's look at this. How much revenue, $11.7 million was earned by sellers through indexing for the words alt fragrances for women in the past 30 days on the US marketplace. And if you notice, Inish did not earn. So even though you're ranked organically 36, it was not sufficient enough to earn any of this revenue. So I would work to improve your organics. I would grow them and I would work to improve your ranking. Now, let me show you what your competition is doing. So I found this listing by trying to find as close to a unisex uh, scented brand as yours, as close to price as yours. And um, now I'm not doing any product comparisons here. What I want to show you is their strategy for advertising. Look at this. They've got almost 59, almost 6,000, if you think about it, organic keywords. And they're doing a little, they're sprinkling a little bit of PPC in there too as well. And because of this, they're showing up in about three times more search results than you are. And they're ranked really well too as well. So if you notice, they've sold 14 and a half thousand units in the past 30 days and you're at a fraction of that. So I would definitely do a keyword gap analysis looking at you and your competitors, at least 10 of them to see what words are they using that are converting and sending traffic. Now, let's talk about organic. Since you are solely dependent on your organic keywords, I want to tell you, we've got the industry's leading SEO process for organics on the Amazon platform. And we break it up into four phases. In phase three, we look at those keywords where you're organically ranked in spots 20 through 50. So that's at the bottom of page one. You'll notice you've got about 370 of them. So about 20% of your keywords. And because of your rank, 
you're not benefiting very much from the organic traffic. Like I showed you, alt fragrances for women. So through our SEO process and all of these organic keywords, we would work to move you up to the top of page one. And that's through phase three of our SEO process. So imagine the impact that that would have on conversion and traffic when that happens. Now let's go through your listing here. I absolutely love your brand. I'm sitting here next to my Inish um, diffuser. And every time I smell it, I just, it puts a smile on my face. So I will tell you, your images need work. Your first one looks okay, um, but because of the white and the white, it is kind of hard to see with the background. I do recommend that you fill up the square all the way. So take the box all the way to the top of this line and go all the way to the bottom of the image too. This is the picture I'm challenged with. It's very hard to see what this is. This is a great picture. One thing you're missing, who's your customer avatar? Who is your demographic? You've got to see this. I know that this uh, scent can be used for so many things. Pillow fresheners, linen fresheners, hair freshener, men, women, cologne. So you want to see those applications and your demographic. Think about this. When people go to the store where I bought this, they can smell it, right? There's usually testers there. People don't get that same sensation, obviously, in the e-commerce world. So having those lifestyle images creates a connection with consumers that you otherwise don't receive online. Now, your title and your bullets, let's talk about those. They need to greatly increase. Your title should be about 200 characters. Each of these bullets should be about 250 characters. This is a prime spot where Amazon looks for your organic keywords, and you need to update these regularly, too, as well. Now, scrolling down, you are missing a module. It's called your brand story. Now, when you log into Seller Central, it's right above product description and you have this, you're just not using it. So let me show you one we put together. This is for our founder's brand called Age of Sage. As you scroll down the listing, look at these bullets. The title is nice and long. They've got great imagery. In addition to that, from the brand. So you'll see all the sponsored listings, but then look at how this just zeroes out that noise. Plus, it's an incredibly big module. It's a carousel. You can put hyperlinks throughout this, and it's a wonderful way to grow the Inish brand. Um, it absolutely helps increase your average order value. Now, down here in your A plus content, I'm just going to look at your alt text real quick. So alt text, yeah, I would make sure that you update your alt text because think about this, this is drivers of SEO and people are not typing in the word C, S-E-A, the difference when looking for a product like this, right? So think of those highly searched, highly organic keywords. They're not typing in dolphins and whales. So this is a, pro a common thing that I see people labeling their alt text with the image. And this is actually a driver of SEO. Um, I love that you've got the product grid down here, but I do think, you, I mean, nowhere on your listing do I see your demographic. So listen, here at my Amazon guy, we are a full service 300 person Amazon agency and we grow sales on Amazon. We give our clients peace of mind knowing Amazon is handled so they can focus on their business. Listen, I'd love an opportunity to show you how we can help Inish brand grow not only in the U.S., but throughout the Amazon marketplace, which I know you're on. And I'd love to be able to chat with you. So go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call, snag yourself a free consultation. And once you do that, I'll email out the competitive analysis. But I love your brand. I love everything about your brand. I want to show you our passion and how we can grow your sales on Amazon. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.